What's up, Boomer Nation? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so first and foremost, guys, I got to talk about my last video from yesterday uh, in which I traded in 95 overall Yao and 90 award winner Steph. Uh, chances are you've probably already seen the video. I got a lot of hate for it. Now, trading in Steph is one thing. Maybe I deserve all the hate that I got. Trading in Steph is one thing. Uh, he's an award winner. Uh, it took us so long to get him. However, I got Steve Nash now, and I don't ever see me going back to uh, Steph Curry. So that's kind of why I did it. He didn't play that well for me, in my opinion. Um, yes, I will never, ever get him back, uh, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, and he's not auctionable. He's not auctionable. I can't give him to any of you guys. Um, second, second of all, uh, the Yao Ming card was a duplicate. I got a duplicate non-auctionable Yao Ming and I'll show you guys right now um, because I have the other one in the defensive squad right now uh, non-auctionable cannot be auctioned guys I can't transfer it I can't auction it I wish I could give it to one of you guys but I can't how is that I, I can't do it so just want to tell you guys I can't sell this card for 20 million like some people can there are two different versions of this card you can pull one in a pack that is auctionable this one however is not uh, but I knew I was gonna get some hate going into this um, I just did it you know to have some fun uh, hopefully most of you guys still enjoyed the video uh, anyways let's get in let's get into today's video here so um, as you could probably see I have like no coins I got 6,000 coins uh, but I pretty much sold everything we have so we're gonna we're gonna make some money to ching to ching to ching let's go let's collect let's go ahead and collect and see what we end up with here uh, this is virtually everything I had everything I had that's not in my lineups I auctioned so we're gonna we're gonna have to see what we end up with um, I traded in trophies uh, to get elite trophies I pretty much did the whole shebang I traded in all right I sold impact collectibles I sold it all, pretty much everything. I had to get my items back down to a reasonable number. So that's what I was doing last night, grinding. Um, that's its own kind of grind, trying to sell everything you got sometimes when you uh, let it build up like that. So we're going to collect. We're going to collect. <laughs> How much are we going to get? I hope we get more than a million. I really do. I really do. I'm shooting for 100 pro packs today so we can uh, rip some packs and hopefully our pack luck has turned around because so far we've only gotten like base elites yesterday. Uh, last couple days have been pretty bummy as we try to collect everything. It looks like everything sold so that's cool. I always hate when it did, doesn't sell and then you got to put it back up. But maybe I sold them for too cheap. I don't know. What are gold players going for right now? Let me know in the comments. Um, for, on your auction house at least. On my auction house they're dipping below 3,000. Uh, 20 I've seen some for 2600 so that's kind of what I put mine up for 2650 I think but uh, they're dipping below 3000 it's getting lower and lower and lower for these golds I remember selling all of my golds for 3300 it looks like some of the uh, collectibles didn't sell but that's okay Wow we actually end up with a decent amount of coins here uh, one and a half million coins so we're probably gonna blow through half of that um, by the way they have swish bundles yeah swish bundles so maybe let's start it off with these swish packs here get it going see what we can do um, hopefully we can pull some elites these oh right off the bat we get a Giannis and a Russell Westbrook okay all right I was just gonna say these swish packs have never really been super good for good to me but we do get a Westbrook right off the bat so that's a uh, net gain there I'm gonna try to get another one as we wait for it here with JR Swish on the front. How fitting is that? Can we go back to back elites? Can we do it? No, we cannot, but we do get four golds. That's decent. I didn't buy the bundle because once again, no um, elite topper, no guaranteed elite topper that is. So that's kind of what I'm always uh, after. So those are the three Swish bundles. Uh, so just like that, you lose 100K. Well, we didn't lose 100K because we got Russell Westbrook in return. Probably lost 40k on those three packs, but that's not that's not too bad. Paul Pierce, the truth. I guess he got pretty teary-eyed from what I heard. I didn't see it yesterday. What did you guys think about the Super Bowl? I'm still mourning. I am still mourning. My Falcons choked it away. <sighs> it was a choke that only I could uh, understand because if you guys have seen me live stream some of these console games, I, I am known for choking away a big lead and losing in the end. <laughs> so maybe they took a page out of my book, the Atlanta Falcons. I'm still a little upset. I got a lot of love from you guys in the comments yesterday on my other videos and on Twitter saying, uh, sorry, Uber. 
I that's so that sucks, but you know what? That's why Tom Brady's the GOAT. He is the GOAT still. What are you gonna do? No elites in these pro packs yet. I hope we're gonna come away with some fire. I hear all these people pulling uh, straight up fire out of these pro packs. It's been a while since we pulled some something really, really, really good in these uh, pro packs. Maybe a legend. Give us a legend. But then again, I said that yesterday. Maybe I should just shut up and uh, take what it gives me. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta do that. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted to bring this video, guys, because I, I see all the hate on my last video on the Yao Ming uh, exchange there. I see all the hate, so I wanted to just clarify once again, guys. Not auctionable, not transferable. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have done a giveaway. That would have been pretty dope. But what am I going to do? How am I going to give the card away? Um, anyways, let's rip through these pro packs here. Come on now. And uh, who do you guys have for team of the week? Let me know in the comments below. Who do you guys have for uh, team of the week tomorrow? Who's going to be, who are going to be the two cards uh, that they're going to release for team of the week? I'm curious uh, who you guys think uh, had a decent uh, week here. Kevin Love. Kevin Love. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I think there is, um, you know, it's probably time for a Steph Curry team of the week. Um, what do you guys think? I know there's a few Steph Curry cards. He's got the 95 overall Ghost of Christmas, but there aren't as many, uh, you know, there aren't that many Steph Curry cards out yet. Uh, he should probably get one that's like a 91, 92, 93 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, be kind of dope as a team of the week. And you know me, I'm a warrior hater, but still, uh, he deserves it. He's been balling. He's back to his old form, guys. Um, you know, you got there's something to say for that. Kudos to Steph Curry for kind of deferring uh, in the first uh, few couple of months of the season. Uh, I think he really just wanted uh, Kevin Durant to feel comfortable on the team, uh, so he kind of you know let him do his thing. But now Steph is starting to take back over, saying, "Hey guys, don't forget about me. I'm still the MVP. You know what I mean? Two-time MVP. That is. Uh, that's pretty back-to-back -back MVP. The only unanimous MVP ever, I think, in the NBA in the history of the NBA. So uh, that means something right there. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty special." Um, but yeah, Steph probably deserves one. Um, I haven't followed the Warriors as closely this past week. Um, I, what, did I watch it? No, nah, I don't think I watched any Warrior games. Uh, but he's probably still balling. I know he had like 39 points in 28 minutes or something ridiculous like that the other night. So uh, he probably deserves a Team of the Week. But let me know who you guys got as Team of the Week players this week for tomorrow. Uh, that's going to be an awesome pack opening as well. Uh, tomorrow today not too much going on. So that's why we're ripping pro packs Luke Babbitt in the house. Let's go uh, So far only the Russ Westbrook who is on the cover of these pro packs uh, I'm just gonna reveal all because otherwise this is gonna take forever Usually I buy these packs beforehand so we know exactly how many we're ripping But uh, today we're just gonna wing it because I wanted to uh, cash in I got up a little bit late this morning So I had to uh, hurry up and uh, just cash in with you guys. Ben McLemore, Campus Hero. We're getting a lot of Campus Campus Hero cards. That's that's pretty dope. And I missed that program. And I still I still would like to see a Rising Star Harrison Barnes. And we get a Draymond. Money Green once again. Back to back days that we pulled Draymond here in the shooting lineup as the center card. Uh, that's a nice card for you guys uh, looking for a decent center in your shooting lineup. Draymond is definitely good. He, he can hit the three. Um, but you know what? I would probably still go with Carl Anthony Towns over Draymond. And he's a gold. So, anyways, uh, that's just my pick. Darren Collison, another campus hero. We're getting a lot of campus hero cards. That's good. Trade those in for an elite. Uh, Jordan Clarkson. Come on now. What can we get? I'm all Oregon ducked out. No Falcons had today. I feel uh, I feel pretty bummy about, about how they lost. You know, it's, it's one thing to lose. And then it's another thing to lose like that. All they needed was one stop. One stop. One stop. Even even if they just stopped the two-point conversion, they would have been golden. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Oh, let me know. I know a lot of different people from different countries are watching this uh, channel as well. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl? I remember growing up in Germany, uh, the first Super Bowl I ever watched, I think, was when Brett Favre won it with the Green Bay Packers. And I remember getting up at like 2 in the morning... Or something like that uh, to watch the Super Bowl on a Sunday night Monday morning right so I, I think I skipped school that day <laughs> just to watch the Super Bowl and I'm like wow this is amazing you know it's just this huge event 
And once again, it was a huge event. Uh, what do you think about Lady Gaga at the halftime show? Um, that's a big production. Holy cow, they had everything. Fireworks. She, had, she was... Uh, she was dropped in from the top of the stadium. I mean, geez, that's a big production. But yeah, I remember watching the Super Bowl as a kid in Germany in the middle of the night. Let me know if you guys from overseas, Philippines, uh, Croatia, Serbia, uh, wherever you may be, if you guys watch the Super Bowl, if, you, if you're even into American football. I honestly didn't really get into it until I came to the States and probably even then a few years in. I wasn't super into it. I was more into basketball um, because basketball is bigger in Germany than American football, obviously. So I was more into that. Uh, but yeah, that's story time with Uber here as I rip through these pro packs. Uh, there we go. Another Russell Westbrook. So that's our third elite now. Two Russells, one Draymond. Uh, we probably haven't made our coins back yet, though, as we're probably 400k in the hole now. Got a little ways to go, though. We're going to blast through a few more of these. Uh, keep it going. Nothing there. Going a little fast, I guess. Um, bam. Double gold. Terrence Ross from Portland, Oregon. Shout out. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. I, I want a high-end elite. That's all I'm asking for. Give me a legend. That's all. That's all. You know, I'm not asking for too much. Stevie Blake. Former blazer. I think he's wearing his blazer jersey in that throwback, uh, in that throw on that throwback card art. So, but I'm not sure. Mm hmm. Let's go. Come on now, DJ Augustine. <laughs> Give us something special. Give us at least like an 88 overall. 88. I'll be happy with. Just something that's out of the ordinary, ordinary that we haven't pulled in a while or ever or ever. There aren't that many cards that we've never pulled. I don't think, but um. There are some. I wouldn't mind that 95 overall T-Mac, you know what I mean? But I think that's going to be super rare. Uh, and I always wonder how EA does it. I wonder how they do a certain card. Like, can they actually punch in the odds for certain cards to make those odds lower? You know what I mean? Like, because what makes us pull Russell Westbrook more so than a 95 overall T-Mac? You know what I mean? They got to be able to punch in the odds, right? Like, give give this guy a 1% chance of pulling. Give uh, this card a 0.1% chance of pulling. I'm not sure how they do it. I, I'm always curious about that. Would be interesting to peek behind the curtain. But I'm not... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how it all works. But I'm just happy when I pull something that's red and shiny. <sighs> Andy Verajal just got waved by the Warriors. Do you guys think anybody's going to pick him up or is he done? I don't know, man. He looked uh, kind of done to me. He looked kind of done. I don't know if there's much uh, gas left in the tank for Andy Verajal. But if somebody needs a big man to absorb six fouls, uh, he's your man. Maybe flop a couple times and maybe get an offensive fo uh, call, uh, uh, foul called against or for him. Or, yeah, against him? No, not against him. Uh, you know, then he might be your man. I just hope my Blazers don't sign him because honestly, he is a boat anchor. <laughs> I don't want Andy Verjal. I do not want. I I don't want to. I don't want Andy Verjal associated with my team at all. And I say that after he got traded to the Blazers. Never played a game for him, but he got traded to the Blazers last year, I believe. Um, and then uh, got waived, I think, and then he went to the Warriors, something like that. Uh, yeah, the Blazers want no part of him. Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo, I'm super excited to watch him in the All-Star game. He is starting well-deserved. That guy is going to be a monster in the league for years to come. And by the way, I'm playing my 2K franchise. I have an online uh, franchise, a fantasy drafted franchise, Ryan Anderson there. Um, and I drafted Carl Anthony Towns with my first pick. And that guy is a beast. Oh my goodness. DeMar DeRozan. Uh, I think we're four and three right now as we go into game. Oh, we got a James Worthy jersey. Okay. Legend collectibles in these pro packs, guys. Not bad. Not bad. We're going to do a few more here and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, nothing fire yet. I'm going to lose uh, 1.5 million if I just keep on going. But we may never get anything in these pro packs. Uh, these last couple days have been pretty dry, so I'm not probably not going to spend all my coins. I want to get back to a million. We still need a two-way power forward. Um, and the, all the ones that I want are way too expensive, so that's the problem. We need to get our coins back up, so I'm working towards doing that. Um, but by ripping these pro packs, it's probably not a good way to do so. So unless we pull some fire, uh, we haven't pulled a Steph Curry in a while either, a base Steph Curry. Um, that's always a good pull right there. 
But nothing today. Pro packs galore, but no luck. We just have Russell Westbrooks everywhere. Dennis Schroeder, the outstanding young point guard from Germany. Let's go. Booyah. TJ Warren. TJ Warren. Come on now. That's all you're going to give me? Come on, guys. What can we do? Oh, we get a LeBron throwback. That's what's up. All right. We, call, we asked for an 88, and we got an 88 granted to us. And it is a good one. A throwback LeBron, 88 overall. Let's look at the stats. 85 speed, 82 dribble, 74 three-pointer, 85 passing. Wow, 79 defense and 84 shooting. Just a beast all around. He's going to jam on some fools. Wow. And that is the first time we've ever pulled him. I had him on my squad once, but I never pulled him, actually. So, wow. 2012 throwback LeBron. That's pretty epic. That's a pretty epic pull right there. Um, he probably plays pretty nice out of a pro pack. Wow. So, we have turned our luck around and got some coins back on that particular pull. I'm not sure what he's going for. Probably 180 or so. 160 to 200k, somewhere in there. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. Um, I haven't checked for him in a long time, but we had him on our squad for a while and he was a beast. So uh, that's a nice LeBron card. Ryan Kelly, a lot of Campus Hero cards in these packs. We're gonna do five more. Oh, we got a Paul George, okay. All right, pack luck's looking up. Pack, once again, just like yesterday, towards the end, uh, we started packing elites everywhere. So that's pretty dope right there. So we got two out of five packs there, and one of them was a good one, the LeBron. Uh, let's do let's do five packs from here. Let's do five more packs, see if we can clutch it out with another elite. There's one, Aaron Aflalo, former Blazer. Let's get into the second pack. We get Victor Lodipo who absolutely stumbled on CJ McCollum yesterday. Third pack, we got David Lee. I think that was yesterday. Uh, David Lee in the third pack here. Fourth pack, we get a storyline collectible and Jay Crowder. And last but not least, who do we get? Who do we end up with? We get Giannis. All right, I'm cool with that. And Luke Babbitt, don't forget him. Um, all right, that's going to do it for me, guys. So we did pull our 88 overall that we asked for. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this pack opening. I do this every single day on the channel. If you do, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on the road to 20K. We're almost there. I appreciate every one of you guys watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm out. Mahalo.